You hear a lot in the barefoot community for keeping horses barefoot to never touch the soul. I would say that's more of a suggestion and not always 100% rule. To everyone that likes and follows my page, you know there's always a twist. So let's explore some decision making. This is another horse and still a good example. You can see that the feet aren't really picked ever. Most of the indication is that tree branch that I found inside the hoof. I make my decisions on whether to touch the sole of the horse's hoof. And truly it depends on many things, but mostly it depends on information from the owner on where this horse is gonna be located after the trim and what the care and usability of the horse is going to be. I think these are just glaring examples that the sole just needs to be removed. Just as a reminder, in case you don't know, second sole or false sole, as some people call it, is actually retained sole that's been packed really tough together and never really ground off or flaked away from the hoof. And then eventually that packing, there is a moisture change in between. And that moisture change usually is closer to the sole and it'll come out as one big piece. I'll slow this down for you to see. So it's just one single big piece. So when I make my decisions, to take the sole out can you see that this is all the retained sole there is and it is actually melded or attached to that shedding frog can you check this out look at this thing that's just deliciously connected here's a good example when people say oh we always have to keep the toe callus well check this out this is the toe right here check this out let's see what that toe callus looks like yeah check this out look at this pulling it oh oh, oh there it is yeah, you to trim that. So I finished with one of my favorite fossils that I've done. This one's located on red clay, not ridden, but will be in some very wet environment. Perfect for the microbes to get underneath and destroy the hoof. So that's why I decided on the removal on this particular horse. Not just because it's cool and satisfying. Oh yeah, check that out and wham. So there's many reasons on whether you should keep that retained sole or pull it out. Just make sure whatever you do, that horse is able to walk away sound and explore everything from the horse's history, the owner's input, all the environments that the horse is gonna be in until you return and how it's gonna be used. And don't be afraid to ask questions and reach out for help. I also appreciate when people actually seek my advice because I learn a lot from you as well. And some of the questions that are asked are, are sometimes things that I haven't actually got to think about or notice that helps my overall knowledge. So an extra thank you to everybody that likes and follows my page.